In this video, we're going to talk about boundaries. As the first item in our drop down list of items that can define a surface, boundaries are important because they set outer limits and they also set inner limits. Um, so in a surface display, uh, we know that sometimes you may want to not display specific information. Like we know that you wouldn't want to show contours running through a home. A home is generally usually built on a single level foundation. So it wouldn't be appropriate to be showing contours running through a house. So that's what we're going to do in this drawing. We're going to actually add boundaries for the couple of buildings that are shown in our topo. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to select boundaries, right click and choose add. We are going to choose a name of uh, BLDG for buildings, uh, and then we are going to set them as hide boundaries. If we wanted to completely remove the data from the drawing, we could do a data clip, but we're gonna go ahead and just go with hide. There's not a lot of information inside of these buildings, so it's not a big deal if we leave the data in the drawing. So I'm gonna select hide. I don't want them to be destructive. I don't want them to change how our surface is being displayed. So I'm gonna leave them as non-destructive break lines. And then uh, in most of these times when you're adding some sort of definition for a surface, uh, you're gonna see something called a mid-ordinate distance. And that is basically saying, if you have a curve, how far off of that curve can your cord be? And if it, you set it to something very small, it's gonna create a bunch of small lines to better approximate that curve. If you have a large mid-ordinate distance, then you'll have less lines and those curves will be less well-defined. I often find myself using small mid-ordinate distances when I'm dealing with contours. I have a draftsman who gives me a contour that's using a lot of polylines that have a lot of arcs in them, and I want to better approximate what his curve looks like, so I use a very small mid-ordinate distance. With this, I know that my buildings are all straight lines, so I honestly really don't care what my mid-ordinate distance is, so I'm gonna leave it as one and select OK. Now I'm going to select the couple of buildings that we have here, which is this, 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 and this one. Uh, and once I've selected all the buildings that I want to create boundaries for, I'm going to hit Enter. Uh, and what you'll notice is that Civil 3D has created holes in our surface and so when I select that surface, you can see these holes, the contours are no longer running through them and they have been removed from our display of our surface.